guys, welcome to Steel Division Normandy 44. This is a strategy game uh, developed by the um, developers of uh, Wargame. You might have uh, seen it on YouTube or even played it yourself. Uh, this is a um, strategy game that uh, focuses really on tactics and uh, smart usage of your units because uh, even the stronger units uh, will get easily destroyed. So uh, on this um, particular match I am playing as the Axis forces, uh, the Germans. Uh, I believe I am playing the uh, 12th SS Panzer. So that will give me access to um, tanks like uh, Panthers and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how this uh, goes. So currently uh, me and my teammate here is just setting up. I'm actually going to change this over to my view so you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, this allows uh, the enemies to disappear so you can actually see what I saw during the uh, battle itself. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Let's just speed times up for now while we deploy. And we're off. Oh, that's really loud. Turn that down. There we go, that's better. So yeah, I'm uh, on the right flank, I'm moving up with some uh, Panzer Grenadiers and a um, uh, squad leader or officer or whatever and an uh, anti-tank gun as well as some uh, STKFC 20mm support. In the middle I have uh, some recon. I also have a crap ton of, uh, as you can see, uh, infantry, uh, Panzer Grenadiers I believe and some uh, officers. I also have an uh, anti-tank gun to deal with any possible uh, armor threat. It's because we are playing against uh, the third armored. As you can see, both of my uh, enemies are playing as the third armored. And in the back here, I also brought up a boat to Firefly. This is a captured uh, Sherman uh, with uh, German markings on it. And this is going to do very well in the battle in the early stages. In the middle, I'm supporting my teammate with uh, some infantry and some anti-air. And um, you can see I'm bringing up a uh, recon on the right side as well to cover this area here, so to speak. My teammate is uh, also playing as the, um, I forget, the 12th SS Panzer. And he's bringing up uh, a couple of tanks here. This is, these are uh, light uh, tanks with... Uh, I believe it's 20 mil and uh, MG34 and some recon units and some infantry in the middle. I actually don't know what happened here. You can see his uh, his uh, crew has taken some uh, suppression. So you can see the suppression bar going up. It's in the right in the middle now. So he gotta have taken some sort of damage. Maybe a plane or whatever. I didn't catch what happened. So currently I'm just setting up my Panzer Grenadiers in these buildings to hold this town in this crossroad. Um, the houses provide excellent cover for uh, machine gun fire and um, a small, um, small arms fire in general and will uh, decrease the suppression uh, amount that you take uh, very, very much. Oh yeah, let's turn that out down as well. That was really loud. There we go. Honestly, I could just turn on the master. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing, really. So yeah, oh, I'm at half speed. Sorry about that. Let's speed up time. You can see my um, opponents is uh, setting up in this uh, these houses over here um, and uh, making a small push here. And my uh, STKFC is uh, currently engaged with uh, M3A1. I believe this only have a 12mm, um, sorry, 12.7mm. Uh, uh, That's the 50 cal for you Americans. I 
Yeah, but these uh, M3 uh, half tracks they are bringing in infantry, so I can definitely expect a lot of infantry in these uh, headrows here. So now I'm engaged. Uh, this M4 is gonna do very well against these light armored uh, vehicles. You can see my SPV is already um, pulling back. Over here, not much is happening. I'm just trying to get uh, my uh, recon in these trees to get a better view of the uh, battlefield uh, over here. So I launch a defense beacon because uh, I'm afraid of this uh, M4A1. Because I don't see anyone capable of taking that out. I have a panzer here. Or I'm bringing in a panzer here. It's coming in here. Uh, you can see the M4 just uh, demolished my uh, light armored vehicles. I'm pushing up with my Panzer Grenadiers, hoping that uh, the M4 will push into the bushes and get a shot off with the uh, Panzerfaust. But uh, unfortunately, he does not push. My um, teammate is laying down some covering fire with the artillery, uh, probably aiming for that, but uh, a little late there. Let's speed up things here a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can see the um, M4 and the M3 provide excellent suppression against infantry. Um, I pull them back so they are in cover for the tree line. You can see... You can uh, hold down C, you can see the uh, field of view. What uh, my units can be able to see, and you can see they are in cover for those trees. So my AA is opening on this uh, Rosy, this uh, light recon plane with uh, some rockets. Doing some uh, great suppression there, making it uh, fall back. I don't know why I pulled uh, defense speaking here, maybe I was a little quick there, but uh, I can see those M3 pushing up. I have some uh, anti-tank guns and uh, light infantry in this forest. So this place is pretty much dug in. I don't do much over here at the time being. I just wait for the enemy to push. This uh, 222 is gonna get fucking wrecked by the... Uh, I believe that's an M4. No, that's a steward. I mean, Scott with the... Uh, I don't know what it is. Is it a... Uh, it was like 105 or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see the uh, 50 cal and the 30, uh, 30 cal pushing my uh, 222 back. I leave my uh, scouts there for the time being. Pushing up with some Panzer Grenadiers to cover the uh, approaching armor if they push. My pack gun is opening up on the uh, M4A1 and takes it out. Fuel explosion. You can see this. Uh, this pack 38, 50 mils have uh, 10 AP, and the front armor of the uh, um, Sherman, I believe, is like eight or something. So for the time being, I'm just holding. I'm waiting for us to push into phase B because phase B uh, unlocks a lot of uh, heavy units for me. So I can use the Panthers to really push up uh, on the uh, on the enemy here. We're currently leading by plus 10. Um, giving us the advantage over the allies. You can see we have 265 uh, victory points uh, as opposed to our allies or the allies who have uh, 170. And yeah, you can see the M Scott trying to push up a little here. Some artillery coming in on the uh, tanks in the background here. The artillery su uh, provides excellent suppression. They're not really good at like taking out tanks, but if you get a lucky hit, you can destroy them. But uh, mostly it's for uh, suppressing them. And I'm not quite sure, but I believe the more suppression you have, the more in inaccurate the uh, units are going to get. 
I'm not quite sure. This game is still in um, in open beta, so you can buy it and can play it. There's no campaign yet, but uh, there is uh, multiplayer and some uh, solo play skirmish mode. I find the multiplayer uh, much more satisfying to play. Allows for a quite different challenge than the uh, AI does. And the M8 disappeared here, I believe it pulled back, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it got taken out by the pack. Let's see what's going on here. You can see my Panzer Grenadier sitting in this tree line. I think I ordered them to go over and attack the steward. Yeah, you can see they're, they're moving now. They're in the rage and firing the Panzerfaust, making it fall back. Now they're taking heavy fire from the uh, M4s and uh, the M8. So I make them fall back, making them um, fall into the tree line, behind the tree line so they don't get spotted. My uh, STKF is uh, opening up on the M3, it's gonna make it fall back. And my Panzer Grenadiers get in within the range of the half track and takes it out. Beautiful there. Still a lot of shit going down here. My Panzer Grenadiers taking heavy suppression fire uh, while an M4 is pushing up. Get there, get pinned down, so I believe I pulled them out very soon. Or not. So he's trying to push hard in the middle here. Uh, but I don't think he knows that there's a lot of things here. If I try to push like right over here, I only have one Panzer in there and no... Like, I don't have any actual support to push through this, uh, this gap here. So definitely pushing on the wrong side, you see my Panzer Grenadiers get taken out, I forgot to pull them back. That was a bad move on my part. But now uh, the uh, the alerts that come up around this uh, HUD here uh, makes me realize, oh crap, there's shit going on here, so I need to reinforce this. So I am bringing up another scout here, I believe I've put him around this area to recon if uh, two units pushing on this end. You can see the uh, front line is changing and uh, that means uh, enemies is pushing on this area. Not really much going on on this uh, flank right here at the moment. Come on M5 taking out another Panzer Shrek unit, which is definitely not good. They're now gonna push on my uh, Aufklärer, my Recon uh, unit. And uh, engaging my uh, Panzer Grenadier Führer, which is the officer's units, and immediately take out the uh, Panzer Grenadier unit here. And takes out my command tank. So I'm not doing too good here. The uh, M5 is pushing up and doing some substantial damage to my units. Nice play on my opponent's side there. But uh, he's gonna take, be taken out soon, I believe. But for the time being, he's um, doing uh, a lot of damage to my units. So I put up a defense beacon here, I need help taking out this uh, M5. It shouldn't be this, uh, this hard, to be honest, but uh, my uh, 222 gets a lucky shot on the side armor of the... Uh, Oh no, that was actually the front armor. You actually pan the front armor of the M5 and takes it out, so the kill streak is off. My opponent, uh, sorry, my teammate is uh, doing a very well uh, job of keeping this uh, left side uh, here on uh, on our side. You can see he's trying to do the same thing with the uh, Command M5 up here, but he has some anti-tank uh, weapons and some Panzer. So he's doing some uh, substantial damage to that, making it fall back. And uh, we have entered phase B, so I'm now bringing up heavy units. This is the uh, Panther Ds, which have uh, a lot of front armor and uh, very well, uh, um, very good main weapon uh, with a total of 80, uh, 18 uh, AP power. I don't think anything but 
the Jumbo maybe will have that uh, front armor. So uh, this is gonna pen the enemy armor with ease. I actually lose a couple of Panther Ds uh, during the battle. I also have brought one over here. Uh, just because I don't pay attention to it, I send one over here to support my teammate. You can see I've supported him with some uh, anti-air. It's just a, a single 20mm uh, meter and a 20mm uh, support uh, off track. Any planes coming in, this is the P-47 uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, this is equipped with uh, HE or uh, anti-tank rockets and it made a, made a lot of my units lose uh, or gain a lot of suppression so I make, make them fall back and this uh, enables him to push up with the Calliope to uh, really suppress my uh, units here with the artillery rocket strike. So uh, just to see an uh, overview of what's happening here, uh, as you can see I actually don't realize that there's a very big gap here that I could have pushed through but from my point of view you can't really see that do you? You see, you see the enemy's here and the enemy's here so uh, I'm just like uh, assuming there's a lot of infantry here but uh, when it's really not. If we go back to neutral, we can see he's pushing hard on the right, the right side. Uh, though he's not going to be able to actually do a proper push because this is really well dug in. And uh, he allows me to have... Uh, um, you know, I, I get a lot of time to call in a lot of, uh, a lot of heavy units like tanks and uh, MG units here. This is the MG42s coming up in the half track. And they should provide excellent suppression for the infantry. So I'm I am going to start to push up here, I believe, uh, during the course of the battle. The allies have taken the advantage, though. You can see they have a major victory coming up. But uh, from this point on, we start pushing him back because we just hit. Uh, Yeah, as, as I said, we, we hit uh, phase B and that this allows me to put up some uh, heavy tanks, uh, panthers and uh, whatnot to uh, really support my units. You can see this pack gun is uh, perfectly covering the uh, crossroads here. My opponent not really doing a lot over here. speed up see what happens so I unload all my units here and uh, bring up the uh, support half tracks to do some suppression uh, I have no idea if you have something in these bushes I I'm guessing not because the front line is so far behind and you can see it's moving behind as well when I push so I decided to do a heavy push with the uh, infantry and uh, the boat to firefly so we're supporting it but here we go he has two M5 57mm guns uh, uh, hidden in this uh, forest here, so I decide to uh, next move I'm gonna pull up some airplanes and do a bombing run and a rocket run I believe. Two Vickers, uh, no that's not Vickers, that's the American ones, the uh, M1917 uh, heavy machine gun moving across the field here, which is a very bad move because I can see every move he does on this field. Which allows me to pull up the uh, half track and make uh, some suppression fire on them uh, while my infantry moves up and the MG42s are gonna absolutely fucking wreck these units here. Some heavy uh, armor pushing here. Uh, the Jumbo is a very, very uh, heavy armored uh, unit indeed. Now you can see my MG42s opening up on the uh, the heavy machine guns here, pin them down. I don't think my opponent realizes what's happening here, so I'm gonna destroy these uh, units pretty easily. 
I don't know why there's no sound there, but... There we go. Getting absolutely pinned down here. Not moving at all. So he could have pu pulled these uh, units back, but um, as I said, I don't think he realized what's happening here, so uh, these two units are gonna get wrecked. Pushing up with the, uh, another Panther D. I uh, have one Panther D here, one in the middle, and one on the right, uh, left, uh, sorry. I also have a Panther D that just retreated. I'm gonna push it up again, and it's gonna get taken out by the Jumbo, I believe. And there goes uh, one of my uh, opponents. He left the game and uh, surrenders. And this leaves the entire Allied battlefield uh, in uh, U Ujudak. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, so he, he like he gets all of his teammates' units now. So he have to. Um, push on both sides now, and I control both sides. Which make it difficult, uh, I can understand he's uh, struggling now, and uh, you can see the... Uh, I believe that was, uh, was the Sherman at least, I don't know if it was a jump or a jumbo or what. Oh sorry, it's uh, Dominic that's uh, taking over the uh, Ujadak's unit. So my uh, Panther D got destroyed here from uh, one of the uh, M4s, the Shermans. I pushed my um, infantry up here, yeah, they destroyed the uh, MGs and uh, I decided to do a final push on this uh, right middle flank here. Taking a lot of damage from these uh, M5 guns here, uh, making my SDKF uh, pull back. Bring in some uh, Fokker Wolves to deal with the uh, incoming Thunderbolts. But it gets hit by uh, the Bofors uh, anti-aircraft guns, which uh, makes them pull back. As you can see, these Bofor guns can also shoot on infantry and provide excellent uh, HC suppression. So I'm bringing up this uh, STKF to uh, hopefully pin down the units because uh, my MG42s are within range so they can also provide uh, suppression uh, provided that we have line of sight on these guys and they are very well hidden in this uh, forest tree line here so I had to uh, force them to uh, open fire to expose themselves and uh, did that perfectly. You can see my artillery in the background here, this is a Hummel taking out one of the M5 guns here. The other one's uh, heavily pinned down, but it's not being pulled back, so this is going to be taken out as well. And there we go. Dominic surrenders, and we get a minor victory. Total battle time, 23 minutes, 24 seconds, and uh, points to reach for 4,000 points. Uh, we didn't actually reach the points, but um, our uh, opponents, uh, they conceded, and... Uh, yeah, it was a good game. So, uh, good game to my uh, teammate there, Copy Leader to Ra Raven, and uh, my opponents, uh, Ujadak and uh, Dominic. So, um, thanks for playing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more.